Hi everyone. Welcome back. Today I am going to be sharing with you some happy mail that I got from Crafty Cat Incorporated. Now before I begin, I just want to tell you all that I got two packages from her. The first package was a swap that we did. Um, she saw me haul a gorgeous girl stamp that I had got. Um, and she asked if she could have it stamped out. And I said yes, so I sent it to her. And since she knows that I have an infiction, affliction, I like, I got to have house mouse stamps. She said she had some and she stamped a few of those out for me and sent it to me as well. So I'm going to share with you that first. And then I'm actually going to share with you some surprise mail that she sent me. And she kept, well not kept, but she emailed me and she said, um, did you get the package? And I was like, yes, I got the package. I thought I wrote you back and told you that I got it. Because sometimes I think that I tell people I got the package and then I don't. And I feel like a total loser. But she was like, no, not that package, another package. And just in case you all don't know how my living arrangement is set up. My apartment complex has, like everyone, P.O. box type mailboxes. And when you get a mail slip, I don't get an actual mail slip to go to the post office and pick it up. I get a package slip that goes to my um, rental office. But I don't get them all the time. So when I get when I order packages, sometimes the post office will put it in there. But most of the time I get an email from the apartment complex management saying I have a package. And from my understanding, they're going through a new adjustment it's not the same latest that was there six months ago so you know it takes time for people to learn anyway i digress she put please do not bend i wonder if they charged you extra for that because on mine when i put please do not bend they charged me a whole extra two dollars so i'm going to share with you what she sent to me in this envelope and i'm going to leave crafty cat incorporated um address not her address, <laughs> her YouTube channel. She hasn't been making a lot of YouTube videos, but she did join us in the Christmas in July hop where she made some really, really cute projects. So I'm going to link you to her channel and you can go over and see if you like what she does. And if you do, you know, follow her till I sent you. I don't get anything, but it's nice to know that people are following you. So this is the first little thing that she sent me. And this is a card. I figured it out after I've looked at it a few times. Excuse any background noise you may hear. Nicholas is on the prowl, but it's too early to feed him. Look at this little stamp. That little mouse is cute. And then I know that this is some type of punch or either a die, I think. I have something similar to this and I don't know how to use it. And then on the inside, I like how she put different pieces of paper she wrote me a little note on the inside of this which is really nice and sweet and I do appreciate it so that's how that looks and this is the back have a nice day every day so remember when I did that creepy stamp haul she said she liked one of them it just it had a smiley face that said have a day <laughs> so I sent her that um, and this mermaid I think, I'm not sure, but it looks like she may have colored her in and put some highlights in her hair. Or maybe the page where she got it from did that. This is so pretty. You know, I've tried to find children's books that have beautiful pictures in there. Because I think this maybe came from a children's book or either a magazine. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. I have it now. And I'm going to put this in a project for myself. I will not be um, giving this to anyone I do have some ideas coming up, well, in my head, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to execute all of those before um, I get ready to move, because I want to pack my house up and have everything packed and ready to go. Anywho, she sent me this envelope, and look at, you know, she's like the queen of washi. I see a lot of people hauling washi on Instagram, but I think she may have them beat, if you notice. This is two separate types of washi already. This is three, four, five, six, seven. I believe she's the queen of washi. Just saying. And it's okay because I like people that like washi. And she sent me this beautiful stamp that looks like a postage stamp. 
and it says bouquet very pretty I don't think I've ever seen anything similar to this I've seen um, flower stamps but I've never seen like a postage flower stamp which is cool because I can definitely use that in some projects you all will see me doing a lot more stamping projects um, not all rubber stamping but a lot of stamping projects because I do have some stamps that I don't care for that I purchased from online that I will probably be getting rid of in a de-stash um, since I'm going to be changing how I store some of my stamps I am going to be just keeping the stuff that I really really like anyway I digress she put some of this fun fur or eyelash trim that people call it whatever um, you call it this is really nice and this looks like eyelashes <laughs> right look at it it's so pretty and then this little tag and again so if we were counting people we would say what was that five was it five no so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten different rows of washi already so we're going to safely say that she's a washi harder like myself, which is no problem with that. And she's using it. I really like this little cactus washi. I'm not sure where you got it from, but it's very pretty. And I like the watermelon washi as well. I do have something similar to both of those, but not in that exact print. And then let's go ahead and get to the main event, which is this awesome stamping that she's done for me. And I don't have any of these little house mouse stamps I think I may have this one I think but other than that I don't have any of these and I think this is um um I want to say this is mud pie but I could be wrong um because he always has food in his mouth so this may be mud pie right here um and Monica I think was probably the first one I'm not sure why these house mouse stamps are so expensive but good grief they are this is really pretty um, and they're always doing like painting, face painting. They're doing like three things in the rain, eating, or playing with makeup. So right here, this one says face paint. Very pretty. I am definitely going to make some uh, archives of this because I don't have these stamps. And I want to save them. This one is probably my most favorite stamp. And this stamp has to be big. Look how big this thing is. It has to be ginormous. Um, and I've noticed that the house mouse stamps, which I don't have any on my desk, can you believe that? Um, the older ones are harder to hold on because, like you see this stamp, it has this groove in it. They don't have any grooves. They're kind of like this right here. Kind of plain and simple. And it, I think, in my opinion, this is harder to stamp, for me at least. Some people are stamping pros. I am not yet. And then this one is probably a Valentine's Day stamp. Um, he made or she made a little heart out of a paper clip they're pretty crafty right and then this cute little one that says for you I don't know if this is a house mouse stamp but it is a different type of brand and I've seen a mouse similar to this but this is really pretty and this one is looking up like give me something so you know you could put like food right here a Hershey kiss a candy something that goes right there um, when you are stamping these out or putting them on so all these I will probably um, make copies and fussy cut out I like this fan too again this has to be a large large stamp because this is a pretty big image very pretty and I do appreciate it awesome and then she kind of rearranged the stamps which is cool so we have this cute little Valentine a heart one again this could be an anniversary one too he's bathing or she's bathing and then you have these I'm not really sure how people can tell the difference between them they all look the same like little mice but I know um, like if you can tell like this one has funny looking ears whereas this one doesn't have funny looking ears um, yeah and then so here we are with these uh, two I want to say I, I'm probably sure that this one is mud pie or mud pie one is Monica and one is mud pie I'm sure of. then she sent me these cute um, little mouse that's getting ready to go to the beach um, this is probably the same dude and yes it's a dude because he doesn't have on a bikini top he just has on shorts um, he's kinda like Mickey Mouse you know he only wears shorts 
and this is cute you see how it has this coconut in this this drink in his sand some sunscreen shoes and he's like looking up the only thing he put on his nose was some sunscreen so that was that in our stamped image swap that we did um which is awesome and then i want to share with you the surprise mail that she sent me i made a video yesterday for this but because i'm so silly i um forgot some of the stuff because it was in the bedroom and i didn't want to wake up the little roommate so she sent me this packaging and she decorated it very pretty so i will be trying to keep these images when i get to where i'm going and on the front she did some more washi tape which i can't i could but i'm not going to share with you because it has um our addresses on it and so she is such a sweet person she sent my little roommate toys so i'm gonna share with you the stuff that she sent to him i have already opened it look at this washi i like this one i don't know where i don't i don't need to know where they came from i don't think and it says it's your birthday it's so cute um she sent him this little airplane and she sent him two cars the day i opened the package he slept with the cars and so he's been playing with those cars every day um he put he has a little grocery cart that um the lady at tuesday morning bought for him and he puts all the stuff in the tuesday in the little cart and he drives it around the house so she sent him these little stickers which he loves sports balls all kinds all of them he loves them every time we go to the store he's like ball 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 i'm like no no more so that is really awesome and she sent him these little ninja turtle stickers which is cool because um the lady or man at walmart i think it was a lady she was like can he have one and she put the big smiley face on there for him and now he knows how to apply stickers so i'm definitely in trouble if he gets hold of mine and then i'm not sure who these little animals are um but look at this koala you know koalas are very dangerous did y'all know that they're very pretty but dangerous and this is a bear who's eating some ice cream and she's a cheerleader I don't know who these um, are, so I can't really say, but um, he's going to love them nonetheless because he has some other little people's um, toys that he can put on the form. He has like a little form that he can put those in. And she's sitting in this cute bag that I'll probably be recycling, and it says, for your little roommate. So sweet. I really appreciate Everyone that sends things to him and thinks about him, that is so awesome. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. And so, let's discuss the next thing that she sent to me, which is this cute little um, pouch. And it has an anchor on it, which is awesome. And I don't have one of these. Can you believe it? And inside is chock full of awesomeness. So I'm just going to pull the stuff out and put it on the side. And then we will um, go from there. So she sent me more little stamps, which is so cute. Look, she sent me this little monkey. So I can stamp some of these out and put it on Elemental Designs friend mail when I send out more friend mail. And look at this little bear. This bear is a bit on the creepy side and I'll tell you why he has this smirk on his face like I am going to eat all of your food and if I'm not full I want to eat you too um and she sent me these Halloween stamps which is so awesome and I don't think I have this set I may have this set and if I do I'll be keeping this one and getting rid of the one that I have um I like this key I have some more spectacular Halloween hop projects that I need to do for the rest of this month and the first week in October. So these will definitely come in handy and you'll see more coolness. And I'll try to keep this out on my desk 
to remember to use those. She sent me this cute little um, teacup with an egg etched in the inside. And I'm not sure what this really is, but I am going to try to use it as um, a f stencil, I think. I think. So I think what I'm going to try and do, which you all can tell me if this is crazy or not, I'm going to Mod Podge this these sides to try to make it um more hard so I'm going to try to put a coat of Mod Podge on here hopefully this fabric doesn't suck it all in and I'm going to try and do some stenciling with it because I love this little coffee cup it's kind of like an Easter egg or Easter thing I'm not really sure but it's very pretty and I actually like that color yellow and then she sent me these two little dolls and if I had been thinking I could have put these in my house but I do have some other ideas. You can't see their faces. So these look like sisters or twins or maybe it's the same chick in a different outfit. Um, but we're going to say maybe they're sisters because they have a different hairstyle. So one is, you know, she's daring. She got bangs. The other one is like, oh, I'm just going to put this little heart barrette in there. And one is kind of foo-foo. You know, she got those flowers and then she's like, I like bows. So, yeah, that's her. And then this is a sentiment series from Pink Paisley. Can you believe I don't have this? Can you believe I don't have this? In case you're looking, they may still have it. Here's the skew. And this one says, Brave and Strong, My Hero. This is a military one. You can see it has this metal on there. And then it says, Rising to the Top Superstar, a style statement fashionista. So these would be cute to put on flip books and albums and things like that I like this camera I don't know what that one says on the back let's see it says new discoveries exploring and it's a travel one um, I'm not sure what these are really used for but I do have some bottle caps that I can definitely stamp this image put it in some paper and put some glossy stuff on there and put it in there and make something out of there so that is awesome and this says hello beautiful now I did not open this one because I was like if I do a video then we could do this together I love this bag and I don't think this bag came from the Dollar Tree I could be wrong but it's very thick it's a little bit thicker material if you can hear it than Dollar Tree material I did look through the bag and she sent me some candy which is awesome and I love this washi. Look at that washi. I'm going to be making a washi card video because she's done that to me. She sent me some candy. I think these are butterscotch. We'll find out later today. And let's see. She sent me washi. Yay. Thank you so much. She's adding to my hoarding. She is, um, what do they call those people? Enabling. I appreciate the enabling. More candy. She sent me this cute little bunny piece of wood. And I've told you all before, I think, that I like wood. So that's awesome. And then, see, she sent me bottle caps to go with the stamp. So that's cool. Or I can do other things with it. I'm not really good at the bottle cap jewelry or body bottle cap things. Um, because I just... Some things don't make sense to me in my head yet, but I do want to try this and I could put a little, I do know what I can do. I can pull this little stopper out. I don't know who Country Springs is. What is Country Springs? I don't know. Is that a drink? A soda? Probably a soda. Anywho, I can pull this out. I can definitely put some things in here and I can put a... a coat of resin over as well I bought some resin a couple of weeks ago months now I need to use it because I've seen people say that resin will um, go bad over time if you don't use it and I definitely don't want it to go bad because resin is not cheap it is not cheap everyone and then this says twinkle goosebumps and this little um, enamel dots but I like twinkle goosebumps better and it says animal party and let's see this is so cute look at that these little polar bears and it has lines so it could be used for journaling I even like this little vellum um, envelope or envelope 
however you say it and it says dream big which is awesome very cute and this can be another little piece that goes in to a journal or it could be a sheet of paper I used to write a note to send more happy mail and I really like this paper I'm not okay I was gonna say I think it's a Michaels brand but I'm not sure this um, Timory is I guess this is like her signature these flowers and stuff but this is really really pretty I never saw this at the Michaels near me but I don't always look in the dollar fifty bin or in this other section like the everyday value because I'm like I don't want it to be a dollar fifty it used to be a dollar so you know I'm cheap I'm frugal excuse me I'm frugal so I like that but I like this and you're gonna see in the flip book that she sent me she used some of these pieces which is really really cool she fussy cut them out um, but this kind of looks like a little book when you look at it so that's really cool I got a few ideas I want to try to do with that she sent me more candy she sent me some little um, beads because she's a jewelry maker herself so she sent me these beads and I keep trying to call her out and ask her to make beads but she is with child so she has more important things going on than um, responding to a crazy call out saying please make jewelry and then here I call this like a little rick rack bag or a shaker bag that you can put different doodads a doodad bag look she has this little balloon in here oh, that's so cute very cute I love that and it has some little leaves in here fall leaves buttons this is a little rose right here you can't see that because I'm not doing a good job but it's a lot of cute little bling in there um, it has a peace sign we need peace and it's a little fairy sticker in here a little girl fairy right there very cute I do like this um, Sylvia 51 and see you know, she sent me that treasure chest of booty that is awesome. And I haven't got a chance to use it or showcase it anymore. But I will be doing that soon. Um, I always tell you all, I keep all of the packaging for the most part that everyone sends me. I put it in, I have a tote, a clear tote that I put all of the things that you send me in. I just dig through that tote when I'm looking for things. Um, the only thing that I don't have in there is the pocket letters because I have those in a binder she also sent me this cute 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 little ship's wheel and um, I'm going to be reusing the packaging for that I like the stripes in the back and it's so awesome but this ship's wheel will go along with probably that mermaid I'm gonna probably I'm gonna try to make a big um, art project in a, not a canvas on regular paper but in a frame so it's going to have to be flat material until I finish it and then it will be glued on top so these will all be stored until I get to um, my new house the, my new living quarters in Texas um, the next thing I want to share with you is this cute little paper bag flip book that she made for me it's so cute. It has B on here for left-handed crafter, right? No, for Brandy. Um, that's my name, Brandy. It's so pretty. Um, I love filling textured pieces, and this is definitely textured. And I think she has some damask on here. Again, I'm not going to pick apart anyone's project. I will tell you, I will highlight some of the things that I like touching love these little bling jewels I am wondering if I sent her some of these jewels because I sent her her winnings but I can't remember I don't think I did you know I'm not the only person that has bling right and then on this first page I told you that she had cut apart this this is so pretty this looks like it needs to be a mirror right here with this dress don't it it says friends these buttons I love all of this it's just so busy and it matches so well like these colors coincide this brown and green and blue and orange these colors marry well together and all of these colors she's pulled out and popped on in various ways and then she's 
did some butterfly layering, some rickrack right here. So pretty. I don't know what this is, but I love it. I think it's like a swirl of some sort, but I'm not sure. And then in this um, bag, she has cool stuff in here for me. Um, these napkins that I'm about to show you, I've never seen before. But look at this napkin. Tell me this napkin is not cute. Go ahead, tell me. It's gorgeous. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then, look at this. I love these little flowers. The purple ones that kind of pop out. So pretty. Um, I am definitely going to do a decoupage project with this. Um, so I have four pieces to use. Probably one to almost destroy. But um, I think I've realized what my problem is when I've been messing around with these napkins. Is that I'm not being patient enough. And then she sent me this piece bracelet for the journey jewelry with a gentle message and it has various languages and it says may peace prevail on earth i want y'all to see something i don't know what f language fred is but fred is a statement right and then on the back it has um a little poem and you can pause the video if you like and you can read it well not a poem a quote a quote if you're interested in getting them, you can go to ForTheJourney.com. And these were made in Minnesota, don't you know? I had to. I had to. I had to. Um, if you're, you know, mature like I am, <laughs> and you watch cartoons growing up, you probably watched Bobby's World. And his mom had that accent, a Minnesota accent. And then she sent me, look, it says, make today amazing. And again, with this trim stuff, I don't know how you did that, but I need to learn. Look at this washi right here. I have to point this washi out. It's the coral washi, so pretty. And right here is more little washi. She has a lot of washi, guys. Maybe you could do a washi sample swap with her. Look at this stamped image. It has a little kitty cat in the mailbox being bad sleeping of course and then she sent me another house mouse stamped image the Tuesday morning near my house never got this stamp I keep going and looking because sometimes they have the stuff and they don't realize they have the stuff and then she made me another little tag I love this tag and I want to talk about she has another tag and I want to discuss that shortly but it's about the background and like the bling and then this I don't know how to make ephemera like that well, I can't say I don't know how. My brain does not function well enough to say, marry these pieces together and it will look good. I'm always worried that it's going to look bad. She wrote me a note. I've already read the note. Because um, I've already looked at this package. Um, she sent. She made these cute little flowers. Look at these flowers. I love them. Love, 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 love them. Then in here... Um, more flowers and it says happiness and I think this is washi as well which is cool I have I have that washi tape and some enamel dots she sent me another napkin with this cute little kitty cat on here she has an owl a owl on there with this tag and this kitty cat is saying look I am more pretty more precious I probably have more money money than you do as well um one of my co-workers a couple of years ago had printed out this sign that says, I'm, don't mind me, I'm just more awesome than you or something. Had a cat with this little smirk on his face or, or her face. And my co my male co-worker was like, I hate that cat. I hate that cat. That's before I got Nicholas. My mom was still here. Um, so I didn't have a cat at the time. Anywho, this is some dyes and look what you could do with this you can make clouds sun very cool and it looks like they have some layering going on which i will definitely be trying to use that so i'm going to be taking a few things out of this when i um, get there i love this lemon washi now i would like for you to tell me where this lemon washi came from it's a looks like it's a thicker little um roll so i'm not sure and it doesn't feel like washi. Um, washi from the Dollar Tree. You know, washi from the Dollar Tree feels 
papery and the other washi feels kind of like fabric thin fabric um, but she sent me this and this um, is sea life you know penguins need the ocean all different types of sea creatures and then this one I like a lot I'm gonna talk a little bit faster because I don't want to string these videos together and I have three minutes I like this so I'm gonna try to do these tags like this I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is go and get some out the magazine use some gesso and do that then she sent me this little froggy and some marigold flowers I will plant those when I get to Texas because I live upstairs and I don't right now I live upstairs and I don't want to um, get a um, powder that hangs over the side of the balcony and drip water on my neighbors I love these little dots I love all of the little pieces that she um, used and it says be wonderful it has two dolphins and it says live simply more just random cuteness hanging out and then she put this and this one says magical very pretty I love this little trim that you use behind this flower and look at this little bee cute bee and then last but not least is this beautiful deer it says happy holidays and I'm definitely going to ask you to tell me where you got these napkins from because I want to make a few projects I think I can get some frames and put some wood sticks around this and use it and then I can use this for something else this looks like jean material actually so that would be different to use but this only has one little deer image and I love that and then she sent me some Moana Moana Moina I think it's Moina st uh, stickers very cute if you haven't seen the movie it's a cute little movie it has a great moral to it um, talk about somebody loving the ocean and the ocean loving her I think that's cute I think my favorite character is the chicken and he doesn't talk but anyway this is my happy awesome surprise mail and happy awesome swap mail she sent me wonderful things please go over to her channel check her out she does something you like you know subscribe Thank you all for watching. Happy crafting.